Passover, but feast of Passover. And Jesus said, you can be feasting and can be dining, but I came with a different agenda and I don't have all the time. So this little time I have, I don't know when next my mom will carry me to capital Jerusalem. He may tell me I don't have tea. In fact, my mom may not even allow me to go. My mom, because if you look at the way they were looking, hey, where is Jesus? They were looking for him as a little baby. So my mom may not allow me to visit this time again. So this time I have, let me maximize. Let me utilize. The Bible said, feast was on in Jerusalem. And this guy sneaked out because I believe that he joined the mom to the Passover feast center. Ah, uh, I believe so. I heard Jesus, ma, sit here. Yes, ma. And when they were sharing okwa and oba and abachaudi and oboroko, and while they were sharing those things, are you with me? Jesus did what? Sneaked out. He didn't consult any man. He came to buy oil. And it came to pass. Go back. I don't have time. Go back. Okay. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Three days after. They found him where? In the temple. Sitting where? In the midst of doctors. Both hearing them. And asking them. Question. Shout time again. You use time to buy oil. Listen to me. I look at you and see how you manage your time. I know how much oil you need. And how much oil you want. Remember I said, we don't have equal money. We may not have equal opportunity. But we have equal 24 hours. Equal 7 days a week. Equal 30, 31 days a month. We have equal time. And what separates men, I believe, is in that expertise when it comes to management of what? Kaladasa. Jesus sat down. Feast was on. But he was fasting. If he was not feasting, what was he doing? He was fasting in the temple. Doing what? Buying knowledge from doctors. Buying knowledge from wise men. Sitting down at age 12. Knowing a day will come, they will confront me with hard questions, hard sentences. One day they will plot a graph and they will tell me, Moses said, thou shall do this, tit for tat. But what sayest thou? Jesus knew that the time cometh so fast when I will need to provide answer. Before I answer them, I must know their law. And Jesus used his time very well. Look at me. Don't pretend as if to say you don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I'm telling you that you're using your time to feast. You are not using your time to buy oil. And when I'm talking about candle, please listen to me. Shout amen. amen. Please shout I am here. Remember where I began. I began by five things you need to know. And I settled on knowing you. When we are talking about light, listen to me everywhere. Light we are discussing in this context simply means who God has designed you to be. Say amen. The light in this context, HS candle, may be different from Chime's candle. Chime's candle may not be Daniel's candle in this context. Your candle here means who you are in God. Who God designed you to be. Is somebody hearing my point? I am saying to you, if you don't contend for light in your area of ordination, you may live here 70 years and never live one day in eternity. It can mean like that. You may mean 80, you may live 80 years here, gone so soon, 85 years. Why we celebrate life and we open up your record in the eternal eternity and they could not account to you one single day. I hope you know preachers can be on the pool pit for 40 years. It could be recorded four days in the spirit because all that years were just wasted years making noise and just fulfilling their own desire. Somebody, are you with me this evening? So I'm talking about contending for your own light. Jesus said, for you every day is a day. But for me, I came with a different mandate. I don't have time to waste. 
Passover, go and feast. But I know who I am. I am the Passover you are celebrating. So go and be celebrating your Passover. But few years later, 18 years later, the real Passover will come. So at that time, you will not need to go to anywhere to celebrate because I am that Passover. So let me prepare myself. Let me use my time very well. It is amazing God's people that people with ordination will be widening away their time doing things that matters not in eternity with people that have a different blueprint from what they carry. How can you carry that kind of mysterious calling and you while away your time with people you know that they, they are depending on your light. I have seen one of the things that bothers my heart every day that people that carry light to give others are now feasting with people depending on their light. Jesus knew that all these men going there they are going there because I am yet to emerge. He knew a time will come. I am going to abolish the law of Moses. I am the Passover. But keep going while I build myself. But I will not make the mistake of dining together with people I am meant to lift. How can you stay in poverty when you you are meant to lift men out of poverty. How can you stay sick when you are designed to help the sick? How can you stay ignorant when you are designed to help the ignorant? Jesus knew, I am not here for Passover celebration. Me, ma, my name is the Passover. I am the Passover lamb. Church, hear me. The sister you are discussing issues of sin with, you were designed to help the sister. The bro, you are designing the issue that matters not. You carry an ordination to help him. I just hope you are getting my point. So what am I saying? What they are celebrating may not be evil. It may not be bad. But you don't have the time to celebrate with them. So go ahead and enjoy your feast. I am the feast myself. I said to the Lord, see me Jesus. May I not waste my time with people. I am sent to lighten up their darkness. Contending for light. May I not be wasting my time with with a people God who sent me to deliver separate me Lord and let my light shine so I can draw men in darkness into my own light my name is Danobu there are men and women that must see through my light if I refuse to shine they will remain in darkness so feast of Passover is not for me I am the Passover you go celebrate I maximize my time look at many of you here carrying heavy mandates many of you prophets many of you apostles many of you evangelists many of you kingdom financiers many of you content creators many of you guru in writing many of you but look at you whiling away your time begging them that should be begging you looking for them that should be looking for you are you hearing me I know your problem you don't know how to maximize time you think you have time 18 years more Jesus Jesus. 18 years more, Jesus. You are 12 years. You are 12 years. And you are the reason for this Passover. Jesus knew I don't have time. So others can go to Passover. But not me. But not me. But not me. My siblings can go to Passover. My friends can go to Passover. I am not teaching you a life void of interaction. No, 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 no. I understand that man is a social being. I know you need others. But I came to challenge lend you that God have destined you that when you shine you will lighten up the darkness of many can't you understand you are spending time in that which matters not why spend money in that which cannot give life in this issue of contending for light time is of essence imagine that Nobu now in primary one School is good. I don't have the time again. Are you with me? Imagine you seated here in primary two. You can still go and graduate or clap for you. Don't get me wrong. I understand what I'm saying. Get my point. I know about adult education. I understand that. But my brethren, my brethren, Kabbalah, in pursuit of destiny, in contending for lights, time, is of great essence. Listen to me. I have a challenge with you. 
Do you know I tell it with you? Many of you here, you spend much, a, a good chunk of your time, you spend it in things that doesn't relate to your light, to your calling. Do you understand? Do you? A good chunk of your time. Those things are not bad in itself. But they are not connected to your light. Do you understand? Example, football is not bad in my own understanding. Unless it become a god to you. Now, but imagine me now, an apostle, for example, spending 90 minutes of my time watching or playing football at my age. Do you understand? This is not my light. You don't have light because you don't have the calling. If you try to make us laugh, we, are, we will be sad. We will be angry. No humor. No, it's not your calling. But 85, 90% of your data you will burn the data watching comedy skit. Meanwhile, you are not a content creator. What are you doing, prophet, with spend time watching comedy like you? Many of them. Because they need time to think. Content creators, they think. So they will, they will hide themselves looking for an idea to keep you online. Are you with me? So, and when they come out, they are either thinking of what to create or they are on stage somewhere. I was in one meeting somewhere, I think it was in Delta Asaba, and I was lodged in one hotel. So coming down, I saw one of them. They were said, ah, I know you. Said, oh man of God, this one, this one. Said, how? I just asked, said, for the past three weeks, we have been going from here to here to just produce 10 minutes or five, seven minutes because we need this environment. I said, hey. So for three weeks, we are trying to create 10 minutes. But my generation, we spend their time burning their data. Anything that burns your data burns your time. When it burns your time, it burns your passion. When it burns your passion, it burns your energy. If it burns your energy, it burns your life. Anything that burns your life burns your existence. Learn! Says the Lord, the reason why you are where you are today is because you don't know how to manage time. You told me you are a writer. You told me you are a healing evangelist. That God will say you will heal nations. How many books written by T. L. Osborne have you re have you read? Tell me how many minutes you, you, you interact with video clips of Benny Hinn. Let me know. Let me know. These are men connected to your ordination. You don't spend your time with them. I'm a kingdom financier. How many billionaires are you following? Tell me. We are making money. Tell me how you consume your life. Your time listening to contents that fuels your passion according to the area you are going to. You say you will start a school. Tell me the Tembe school in Nigeria you know. Tell me. We are changing the world. Tell me 10 world changers who read their materials. You are talking. You are talking. Lekura Bashila Zabaha. Listen to me. 90% of my data. I consume them listening to things that aligns with my destiny. Are you with me? I consume them. I am angry when my data finish, not because I wasted it. I know what consumes my data. Listen to me. If you are a hairstylist, tell me the three best world hairstylists you know. Tell me one. Let me know your YouTube channels where you glean. Listen to me until you locate your passion 
and then consume your time around that environment. Many of you, I'm angry with you. And may God help you to understand my heart this evening. It's a holy anger anywhere. Because when I look at what you watch and look at what will tell me you want to become, they are worse and opposite. Which one we align to which? Is it to you that we align to this one or this one that will align to this one? Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you tell me you are, the, you, you are called to be a teacher, tell me the teachers of the world, you've read their material and you follow bomba to bomba. This is how you buy oil. Jesus was 12, but he spent a whole good chunk of his time dialoguing, interacting, sharing views with the kind of man he was called to reach. May the devil that makes you waste your time leave you tonight. You will not say amen here. Yeah. Anything that consumes your time in the name of Jesus Christ, I deliver you from them. Yeah. Say a better amen. Yeah. Time has come. The next time you visit Fotizo, tell him your calling. He will help you with materials you need to read. You may not have time to read everything. Are you with me? My nature of call, I know my call. I might need to have knowledge here and there. Because of my call, I need to know something here, know something there. But if you are called to chase out demon, he will give you deliverance book. Stay with it. Are you with me? Stay with it. Know the names of demon, no problem. No problem. Know the succubus and the incubus. And I'm, I'm, I'm very serious about this. You, it's your calling. Know it. Know it. Spend your time. With that, you are designed to be. That's how to contend for light. If you are a footballer, are you getting me? If you are a footballer, come to church on Sunday. On Monday, go to field. If we are doing ministers' conference in the morning, please go and play football. Dialogue! Stay! The people you follow on Facebook, on social media, all your idols, they are people opposite of your calling. All of them. You've heard me say it. I listen to everybody. I listen to one person. May God give you understanding. Amen. By everybody is called by God. But everyone is not called by God for me. They are called by God. But I know the people God will give the bread I need. I stay with them. I can listen to them ten times a day. It does not matter. Use your time well, my brother, my sister. Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow is Monday. Let's know what takes your time. If 90% of your time is not given to that which God has given you, I'm afraid you may not shine. Yes. If you are not supposed to stay, stay in your lane. Stay with men that can brush away Ignorance and darkness. We buy with time. We buy with humility. We buy with honor. Write the two. As I make to conclude. Jesus the son of God. Jesus Christ son of God. Was humble. Under mere men. Learning. Can you imagine that? Humility. This is what made flesh. But he was humble. Say Amen. When the person carrying the light you need is shorter and you are taller, cut yourself and make sure that the person is taller than you in your mind. Listen, church. When the very person that carries the light you need is taller than you or you are taller than the person, what do you do? 
cut yourself and make sure the person is what? Taller than you. Where? In your mind. Find a way to believe, Oga, you are taller than me. Find a way. Because if you come as the one who is tall, you will carry your height, right? Your height. You will carry your tallness, forgive my grammar, and your ignorance. So when you come to the one that carries the light you need, find a way to convince yourself, or can forget this fineness, now you find pass. Eh? Or can forget this intonation, now your own better pass. Or can forget this dress sense you're talking about, now you dress pass. Are you hearing what I'm teaching you? If you like, be wearing designers to a rich man that is wearing shorts. And where you come, you cannot sit on the ground. Because you're wearing white. But the big man that is making the money is sitting on the ground. If he sits on the ground, lie on the floor. They're not here. <laughs> there are people I don't sit in their presence. I won't mention them we are online. And God is my witness and I am not kidding you. I come before them to talk with them. Hey, sit down, Dan. No, sir, I'm not sitting down. So don't worry, don't worry. I like it. I like fresh. Once you take that posture, something in them will rise up. Once you take the posture of humility and honor, you will resurrect something in them. And what's the sense that you are hungry to grab? That one word they said casually, that you gave them a facial posture. Let me say, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. What he plans saying for one minute, he might end up one hour. I'm giving you my secret. I met someone a few days ago, you guys know. He was about to catch a flight. Say that, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Three minutes. I have marshaled out my question. I said, sir, we will not talk now, sir. I know you are going out, but I have a few questions. So, okay, ask, ask, ask. I released one. Released two. <laughs> we, he nearly missed his flight. I was saying, sir, please go. I said, no, 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 no. You are talking, you are, you are. I was pulling things, pulling things. How? My posture. My posture. Sir, 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 sir. Hey, when I'm not around, I will, I will tell you, you come and talk to my mentees. Say, me, talk to your mentees. I say, how? Oh. Me, talk to your mentees, please. I know I'm your mentee now. How can, me, how can you invite me to come and talk to your mentee? He was trying to say, eh, next time I travel, I will invite you. Uh, Zoom. I said, Sir, no, do this Zoom, sir. Me, I came to learn. That posture provoked something in him. He began to share things I cannot write in any book. I said, this man told me this. This man told me this. What I'm sharing with you, Dan, I have not shared with anybody, and I can't share in any pulpit. When you take the posture of a hungry man, food will come. You come as a fed man. I have a man of God. <laughs> uh, I watched you online. You are trying to you know, keep coming up, man. I'm watching your I'm watching your ministration. You are trying, sir. Keep coming. You see, we just finished um, 35 days dry. We will start 40 days by next week. We are shaking everywhere. The Bible says, keep shaking. <laughs> shaky, shaky. Keep shaking. Say, so we are trying, we are trying. Ah, I preached in Kaduna the other day. As I was preaching there, they said that their governor is looking for me. Say, okay, continue. God bless you, sir. You close his bow well. The next time you will meet greatness, be humble. Huh? I know you have read 35 books, but you don't have results. He didn't read one. He's the book you should read. You read 45 books on how to make wealth. Man, are you trek? You. you get my point? He did not read any. When you come, pack your knowledge. Come as the one who looked like a novice. I'm giving you wisdom. You will thank me later. It's good, don't get, it's good to read book, but don't come as the one. 
Don't assume the posture of a teacher where you should be a student. You know too much. Just know one thing. Know one thing. Say, man of God, have you read that book? I bought that book 10 years ago. I've read, I've read 35 books of ministry. How to command crowd. But you are two persons in your fellowship. Two. You and your wife. And one angel in the spirit. I have met people that God has helped. Older or younger than me. You won't even know they are younger. You are talking age. You are talking results here. Who age, who age help? You are 22, but God has helped you. Me, I'm 55. Oh God, now you be 55. I'm, I'm, I'm 10 now. Are you with me? It's not a basement size. It's called humility. Take a posture. He's a rich man who can speak good English. But you are a, phon a, a phonetics expert. Who is borrowing data? You are correcting the rich man who can speak English. Meanwhile, he's playing a professor. A prof is in his payroll. Be speaking grammar. Landlord is coming. Landlord is coming. So he can't speak good English, but he has money. Sit down first. Your English will be okay. Get something you don't have. Are you with me? Jesus, the word. Jesus, the logos. Jesus, the unknowing. Sat down. Look at creator asking the creator question. What is he asking them now? I hope you know he's full of God and full of man. He kept aside that uh, God side and assumed the human posture and asking the people he would deliver. Hi! Honor is a currency. Humility is a currency. Time is a currency. Are you with me? A woman married a husband for 50 years, 40 years, 30 years with one man. And you read one post on social media and you're challenging the person. 30 years with one man. 30 years with one woman and one man. If you meet him, keep quiet. You hear things like, we fought together, but we came back. There was a time it was hard, but we are still journeying. Are you getting me? Be humble in the face of results. Be humble. It's a hard posture. Even if you're on the sea, take a hard posture on the ground. That's my point. It's not camouflage. Even if you're standing up, but take a posture of learning. Is one of my greatest secrets. God knows I'm, I'm, not, I'm not deceiving you. Anybody can teach me. I can learn from anyone. And I want to be better. Say amen. amen. We will pray. Siba. I have met few great people. Few. Just few. In my own lane. I don't mean rich men. In this ministry, I found three outstanding things very common among them. I will only say one today. All of them, they are all humble. All. Very, very humble. Please, I ask a question. Why is it that emptiness is proud? Eh? Heavy men are silent. Empty men talk too much. I'm still trying to crack that question. Heavy men are humble. <laughs> he doesn't know how to dress. She, doesn't, she dresses sharply. With five kids. And you're still single.
He pays, right? I'm a doctor. What can I go for? Be humble. I'm not castigating you. I love you with the love of God. Say amen. I get it though. But be humble. When I see result, I'm humble. If you think I'm talking to you, take the lesson. You can throw me away. But be humble. God will bless you in Jesus' name. Somebody is giving you money. Paying your fees. House fees. Whatever fee. I will say, I will say again. You'll be angry. Be humble. Be humble. Say amen. amen. Let me tell you. I found out something. There are people that when you come to, you will know that God has helped you a lot. But even though you know one or two things and you pack those things and you're trying to to assume a posture that you know nothing, it will not be long. Those people will start looking for knowledge from you. Huh? I repeat myself. If you always take a posture that, okay, it will not be long. The people forget about their pride and their arrogance. It will not be long. Believe me in the name of Jesus Christ. He who descended will let her ascend. It is a spiritual law. They can mock you. As what again? Hannah, right? Hannah. But take a posture. Penina will let her desire to be like you. It is not who first, the person who first gave birth. No. They may first marry, but honor that. You get the point? Yes. They will first buy a car. It's not this to buy a car, sir. Don't call it pure water. Oh. I'm begging you now. This pure water. You are trekking, sir. Don't call it pure water. I'm be Rise up. <laughs> hey. Don't call it pure water. You may buy best tomorrow. But that pure water, what do you do? Oh no, that pure water. You may let her buy bikes tomorrow, but that bike, that keke na pep, keke is almost one million now. Where is to? This keke, this keke, this keke rider is one point something million naira. Keke, oh, he's ready to buy keke. You go and buy tomorrow. I know you will buy bikes later, but this keke rider, what do you do? Oh no, him. Your own car is bigger. I have seen my car in the dream. I've seen my I, I, I have bought aeroplane. I have bought private jets. I know, but that keke man. Respect that keke. Keke is costly. Until then. Until then. Until then. This thing you are building, my own house I have seen the dream. You are still squatting. Is it this one or coco? Cement is 5,700. I'll be 800. One bag. Oh, not that oh, no, Coco. Are you still with me? I'm giving you wisdom. Your testimony will be louder, but before then. Amen? We are changing nation. The person changing street, honor him. The person changing street, your street, honor him. The person that will mark microphone and command the attention of the whole street. Say, oh, guys, celebrate grace. Before your nation will come, oh, no, you are all maybe better, but until, until then, my look at that one. You can turn to my this baby. If you see, I've seen my twins in the spirit. I've seen my baby in the spirit. Look at your baby. Look at the nose of your baby. I have seen, I have seen, I have seen. If you see my, you will go and upload one picture of a white of white babies. I say, these are my babies. Castigating someone's children. Until then. You buy 
light or oil with one number two number three rise on your feet as your prayer the last thing I'm teaching you tonight just stand up I'm done Speak in tongues so your heart will clear. You are here now. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues so your heart will clear. Kela tabalaba. Danobu, you are a preacher. Kalaba. Kotaba. Kela kosh kaziza. Kele debo karata shilabata. Se no mokobo. Keep speaking. Keep speaking. So your heart will clear. So you can forgive me. Keep speaking. Keko kaba. Dilo makura te sizazosa. Kurateba. Say amen. Something happened two days ago. That night I came to your meeting. So, you know, I, I didn't know this guy. Should I say this now? So, I've not met him. This is a Buka song. I will pray, I will pray. I've not seen him. I just know that song. You know, I've not even watched his clip. So, and when they send the fly, I never even, I didn't even know that he's the one in that flyer. So, but when we went to Newe on Friday night, so they said, this is the guy that did, I will pray so. Wow. I took my normal posture. Say, sir. So, we went inside. So, I ministered before him. I didn't know what happened. When I came up, something came on me. And the rest is history. So, when he came up, he said, ah, are you the one that I should be, I should be the, you get the point now? So, when we were, sir. So, I, I, I'm not saying everything. I'm not saying what I want to say. I don't think I'll say everything. May God give you understanding. Yeah. He began to say many things. Many things. So, but the issue is this. He said, the person that is not the, that one is better. That one is better. I know you can pull mountain, calm down first. Until the mountain comes down. Calm down. Hey, can I have your number? Say, me? You're begging me. Ah. I mean, they beg you, sir. Don't beg me number. I mean, they beg you. Give me your own. We are laughing. You will go far with honor and humility. Amen. I wanted to share something with you. This one is how to lighten up the man in you. The other one is the other light in the Holy of Holies. The key to that one is one word, intimacy. Anybody here, as we pray, give me just one scripture as we keep standing. Just one scripture. First Samuel 3. Okay, I'll just write it down because I can see you are hungry. You are pulling something out of me now. <laughs> Say amen. I love you. Say I love you too. Say it louder now. <laughs> First Samuel 3 1, First Samuel 3 3, First Samuel 2 18. Give me any of them. Maybe you give me First Samuel 2 18. First Samuel 3 1, First Samuel 3 3, First Samuel 2 18. So you need two kinds of light. Jesus or God made two kinds of light. You remember? He made the greater that rules the day. He made the lesser that rules the night. So every man carries two kinds of light. One, the light in you. Talking about your potential. Your calling. Your ordination. Your skill. Whatever name you gave it. That's how to buy oil. Then the other light is called the light from heaven. Who is ready? This one. You have read books. But you need this light. 
You have mastered your fear, but you need this light. Oh, Magobala, Sandele Tokaba. We want to pray, church. We want to pray. Listen to me, everyone. Beyond talent, beyond skill, beyond good voice, the other one brings training, bring culture. The other one gives you that, that um, robust uh, stature. But the other light in the Holy of Holies is like the presence that makes the difference. That one comes alone from heaven. It is not the oil you buy by spending time with books written by great men. It is not the oil you buy by just trying to honor men. This is the oil that comes on you or the light that comes on you by borrowing wisdom from Elder Samuel. That light will always envelop any business. Sister, look at me. When you don't have any man, maximize the one you have. Samuel taught us a lesson. I don't have the advantage. My dad it's not a lie. Hopefully, and Phineas seems to have better advantages. But I'm going to make use of that which I have, maximizing my time. The one I taught you is before men, but this one is before the Almighty. Same principle, but focus has shifted. Spending time with God, humble before God, honoring God. Are you getting me now? Because the other light is men. You want to tap into their light. But this light is God. You want to carry that Shekinah. Am I wasting your time? So contend for these two kinds of light. Number one, what she may have possessed, I'm yet to have. What Lee King possess, I'm yet to have. A graphic designer, I will need to humble myself, spend time with, with, with Ray King to learn graphics. Is that correct? But after that, I will not rely that I'm a master of design. Ray King has given me his mentorship. I am now good with my hands in terms of graphic designing. But much more than that, I will contend with greater light. In this content, what men taught you is lesser light. But the light from heaven is greater light. Are you getting the point now? The light in the holy place is good. But the light in the holiest of all is better. That Shekinah, it can mantle a nobody and you become somebody. It can mountain somebody you are looking down on and something will change. Listen to me everybody. Some people will take advantage of your humility. When I'm talking humility, I know what I'm talking about. Some person will think because you are humble, they want to match on your head. Don't worry. Don't worry. At that moment, light from heaven will come. Some will mock you with their testimony. I hope you know that. Some will want to choke you. How do you say Press your neck with their testimony. I am married. You are single. Don't worry. Just come in contact with the light from heaven. Some will say, look, we used to know her in our secondary school and you are still single. Don't be depressed, my sister. We have a better witness. And Samuel ministered before the Lord, being a child, guided with leaning effort. It is not ministered before men. If you want to contend for light that will shine to nations, learn wisdom, intimacy with the Holy Ghost. I think it was in chapter 3 and Samuel was sleeping beside the ark in the holy of holies when you read books on healing close that book lie down before the ark and say god i have taken logos rest upon me when you read books on how to create wealth close that book lie down beside the ark say lord i have that principle 25 of them on how to make wealth but promotion does not come from the east not from the west but from the south it comes down from you now i need grace on this knowledge when you read principle of church growth how to attract members write them down but close the book and say lord only your presence can attract me now i know the principle now i need the principle I have learned the principle, but I need the principle. You have learned how to grow your business, how to be a unique brand. You are good, my brother, but close that book. Let me invite you into the Holy of Holies. 
where light can shine on that business and it will rob its principle it will negate laws of times and season then you will know that sometimes in life 21 ways to success may not be actually relevant when glory comes a man of saying when the glory comes no words to say principle bows to the principle glory levels everything who taught you church growth presence can teach touch growth who taught you how to create wealth presence can can teach you how to create wealth i'm teaching you higher law higher life higher principle lesser lights called laws of men you may need them for your night but don't bang too much on lesser light you will need greater light come into the holy of holies he that dwell in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty god you need presence i know you are a pretty lady pack up your beauty come into the holy of holies i know you are handsome face don't bank on your handsomeness sir mr man you need jesus you need jesus you need presence i know your fingers can design and you are a best designer don't bank on your design some trust in their horses some art in their childhoods we shall remember the name of the lord of our god i have read books on how to grow church only god can drag man i need presence i know you are a businessman i have taught you principle it's time to touch the principle greater light can be found in the holy place sister thank god for your twerking skill it's not by twerking man thank god my sister dress well but don't bank on your dress sense look well smell nice but don't bank on your perfume sir walk well carry yourself well carry yourself in honor but don't bank on your hairstyle you will need shekinah you will need light on your business let them mock you stay in his presence let them cajole you stay in the secret place let them talk they say you are too fat stay with jesus they say you are too old don't mind them don't mind them they say you cannot marry let this light shine on you first they say you are too thin that no man will like you let god shine his light upon you they say you are 29 they say you are 45 no marriage will come to you don't mind them i invite you to the holy of holies when the light comes on you that shekinah the beauty of jesus shining on you customers will come not by branding but by presence let that shop be enveloped with shekinah let that business be covered in the beginning god made the heavens and the earth the earth was without form and void and darkness was over the surface but the holy spirit was hovering was hovering the shekinah experience i may not know any uncle but i will stay in his presence i may not know any man come on my sister you have graduated bring that cv bring that cv let's go to the holy of holies bring your cv to the holy of holies say lord i don't know a senator i don't know a godfather i don't know a boyfriend let shekinah come on my cv and you will know that angels can carry your cv to ask a rock believe me believe me say lord i may not be tall i may not have a good face but let your light shine on my face let your light shine on my face i will attract better better customer better suitor when your light shine on me Bobe, ga, 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 ga. Come let us see Jose. I bam boom ben let them have I may not know much, but I love your presence, Lord. I may not know anybody, but I love you, Lord. I will stay with you, Jesus. I will stay with you, Jesus. My sister, stay with Jesus. 
His presence will change your life. My brother, stay with Jesus. Is someone praying? We enter the holy of all. Greater light is found in the secret place. I am I invite you to the secret place where only Samuel can become a prophet. The secret place where nobody can become somebody. I invite you to the secret place where the light can beautify you. The light of God is a beautifier. Contend for the light in the secret place. And they cut the back of the back of the back of the back through the blood of the land. We enter, we enter, we enter. You are we enter, we enter to all the One more time. Listen to me, my brother. I, I love you so much. Listen. Allow people to wind their mouths. You are short. You are too tall. You are too thin. You are too fat. You don't have this. You don't have that. Let them talk. Do one thing. Stay in his presence. I don't know any cream. I don't know any makeup artist that can beautify a man like the light. I hope you know light beautifies. No light beautifies a man like the light that shines from the countenance. Say they got not the land by their sword. They got not the land by their strength. They got the land because the Lord favored them by his arm because the light of his countenance came on them. You can like somebody because the light of God is shining on that person. Contend for the light in his presence. They say you are ugly. Ugly you. Sister, you ugly. How? You ugly. God made you. And a human being We say you are ugly and you are listening to the person. They say you are. No! Don't mind them. Just come to his presence. Stay there. How? By ministering unto the Lord. Ministering. Ministering. I love you. You are my all. You are my darling. They may not like me, but you like me. They may not love me, but you love me. <laughs> I may have no man, but I have you. I don't have any helper, but I have you. My dad did not give me a land, but you are the owner of the whole world. Nobody will give me a job, but you are the owner of stay with your lover. Stay with your lover. He will give you divine pancake. He will give you divine powder. He will give you divine fragrance. He will beautify you. He will compel men by his presence. He will compel systems. He will compel structures. He will compel nations. Everyone, let light shine and watch how things will burn. They say you are poor. Just stay in his presence. They say you can't make it. Just stay in his presence. Let that light shine on you. Just breathe your name upon me. You will sing that song from me now. Check the better key. Let him breathe on you. Let him breathe on you. When he breathes, the lady, you say she's ugly. God will bring a husband that will humble you. The girl, you say she's ugly. Let the presence of God shine on that daughter of Zion. She will marry a husband 
that will humble you. Keep talking, keep talking. One day that girl will go into the secret place and the angel of beauty, the angel, it was a man that beautified Esther with ointments for 12 months. It's not carnal. We have beauty fast in heaven. You are calling that girl names. Look at your shape. Look at this. One day in her worship session, one day she's doing romancing with Jesus. One day she's singing to her lover and the angel will come with his makeup kits and say, sister, I paint your nose. I paint your face. I give you good lipstick. And she will come out the men that will come to her will shock you that claims you are beautiful let the light of God shine on a young man and you watch that man become a wonder you can write men off but when that light comes on them you will be shocked you will be in amazement when the light of Jesus shines on men you will be surprised what God can make out of men when the greater lights. My name is Dan Obu. I contend for greater lights. I contend for greater lights. You may think I am short. I may not have basic education. But when his light comes on me, when his light, you like me by the compelling force of his presence. Fear a man that is God's presence. He will go to places you can't enter with your degree. He will command the attention of nations that you with your linguistic prowess cannot command. When you don't have advantage, your greatest advantage is this presence. Samuel had no advantage. It was his presence that made nations to come. Don't mind what they are saying. Just stay in his presence. Who we'll take that number and I will release you. Please sing. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Your name will hey, your name will hey, it's your name. Breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Yeah. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name upon me. Yeah. Breathe. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name upon yeah. me. Breathe. Your name. It's not a song. It's a half cry. It's a desperation. Voicing out. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name upon me. God, hey, 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 one more time. Yeah, just reach a name. 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 One prayer point. Lord, let the light from your secret place shine on me. Shine on my family. Shine on my CV. I have graduated. I have graduated. I have a business now. I have a ministry now. 
Let it shine. God who commanded light to shine out of darkness has shone into our hearts, giving us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Lord, let my darkness turn to your light. Lord, shine your light in my darkness. You can extend this prayer. Shine on my family. Shine on my career. Shine on my family. Shine on my ministry. Who is hungry for this light? Greater light from his presence. The greater light that rules the day. The greater light. Lord, we contend. You have two minutes. If you are not praying now, your grace shine on me. Kakoba, shelete no zizi zia namaha. Shine upon my life. Let the light from your glory, your glorious throne, shine upon me. The Shekinah glory. Shine on me. The Shekinah glory. Shine on me. Your great sign on me, sign on me, sign on me, is your great hey, hey. sign on me, shine on me, sign on me, shine on me. Shine on me. Shine on me, shine on me, shine on me. It's your grace. I want to pray for you. A song is singing in my heart. Dance with me, Lord. Song of all song, romance with me, oh, lover of my soul. To the song that I'll sing, it's a song of intimacy. Take one message home that no matter how wretched a man is. The light of God can beautify the man. Do you believe it? I want to ask God for one thing. Let his light shine on you. For the sun will no more give you light by day. The moon will no more bring you moonlight. Is the scripture? Is that verse 19? We carry a, a prophecy that a city comet. That will have a light, not from a lantern. Jehovah will be your everlasting light. Kelushaba. Imagine a businessman whose light is from heaven. Imagine a ministry whose light is from heaven. I stretch my hand. Three prayer points. Number one. May God give you the wisdom to manage your time. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. May the Lord give you wisdom to manage your time. Yeah. 24 hours for all, but some will make out something substantial from theirs, while others will recklessly, foolishly squander their 24 hours. May my God give you wisdom to manage your time. Yeah. Number two prayer points. Number two prayer points. For your glory I will do anything just to see glory I will do anything just to 
points. There are people here, the Lord is telling me that currently what you are engaging in is darkness. You need lights. You are making a terrible mistake. It could be in your finances. It could be in what we call relationship. It could be in the estate you want to buy. It could be something you want to invest on. Can I pray for you? Anybody here trading the path of darkness going the way of destruction unknowingly. The business you want to invest your capital in is not, is, is not light. The land you are about to pay by tomorrow or next week or any day will end up making you poor. The relationship you are calling my own will be your greatest undoing. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus the Christ, Anything your hand has found doing that is not of God, may light expose them now. Yeah. And there are three persons here. Paradventure, there are people around you. They are darkness, masquerading as light. Anybody that claims to be a destiny helper, or a friend, or a sister, or a brother, but the person represents darkness trying to drag your destiny down. I speak here as the oracle of light. May light expose evil around you. Church, you can say a better amen. Any darkness around you, be exposed by light. Be exposed by light. Young man, young man, young man, may the Lord give you light. That will cause your business, your endeavor to explode. Yeah. Come on, say a better, a better, a better, amen. amen. And finally, you need this one. From this exalted altar. When I mean exalted altar, I don't mean this where I'm standing. It's more than this one. I'm talking from the throne of grace. And we are representing that throne here. I stretch my hand. That CV of yours. That shop of yours. That ministry of yours. That your gifting, that your calling, that your skill, that your talents, that your relationship, that little kiosk, that little idea. People have neglected that little thing, calling you names. I pray for you. May the light from the throne of grace that gives men land, that command nations, light can attract customers, light can open doors. I pray for you. May the light from heaven shine upon you and upon yours. Shine upon you, shine upon yours. Shine upon your mind, shine upon your spirit, shine upon your soul, shine upon your body. I pray for you, my brethren. May the Lord lighten up your candle. May he lighten your darkness. May he lighten your pride. Light shine upon you. Receive illumination. The Father of our Lord Jesus Christ give you the seed of wisdom and of knowledge. The eyes of your understanding be flooded with light. In the name of Jesus Christ. Three times. Three times. We're going to shout, let there be light. Are you ready? If I shout number one, shout with me, let there be light. Are you ready? Number one, shout louder. Let there be light. Everything that connects to your destiny, everything that connects to your family, anything that belongs to you, shout number two. Greater lights, lesser lights. Light to rule the day and the night. Right now, from the throne of grace, shout louder. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Come and celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Baby Meso came to church today. You are not clapping. The Lord has been gracious to us. Don't think it is easy. Children can only be a gift from the Lord. 
Please let me speak like we used to speak. Hallelujah. I'm packaged the seat to connect. Amen. <laughs> connect you. Beautiful damsel. My father said, if God gives you baby girl first, you are blessed. Amen. Me, God gave me baby boy. I'm also blessed. Amen. <laughs> That's not even on the moon why they bless. I'm also blessed. Amen. All right. Okay. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, as we holler the song, they come up. Please package your offering. We'll do everything once. Okay. So, dance it. If you don't dance, if you don't dance, I want to see the beautiful dancer. Where is she? Where are they? Okay. Bring it down. Okay. Our office are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Let's song go. Wow. You are not clapping, you are not dancing. You must dance so you dance. You must dance. Yes, you must so dance. This is dance. Glory, glory, glory. Jesus, thank you. Yes, sir. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Children are purely your gifts, and we are grateful. We are not taking this gift for granted. You crafted this masterpiece, planted the seed, and the day of delivery, I remember how when they called, and a few hours later, baby came, full of health, mother full of health. We didn't hear any stone that touches their hearts. It can only be you. We receive this joy with thanks. Very much aware and sure. We live by prophecy. And we will know we will fulfill prophecy. As your name is, so shall your days be. You are a warrior. You are a judge. You are a prophetess. You are a mother. You are also a wife. We we'll call you four-dimensional woman. You will grow in health. You are a mess, Oma. It simply means only thing Oma will be following you. Four dimension call you blessed. And so shall you be. Excel in wisdom, Deborah. Excel in knowledge. Excel in understanding. We place you above your contemporaries. We place you above your age. You will know more than your age mates. And David said, your word made me wiser than my contemporaries. So we place grace on you. May so dear brother, you are touch not. Evil will not touch you. Disease cannot touch you. We rebuke diseases. We rebuke infirmities. A man have one month in the hospital, one month at home. No! You will grow full of health, full of life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hand upon you. You will carry grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will interpret the very essence of coming to this age. And we declare and we decree 
because you came at a time like this, you have opened door for your parents. One day with Roma Aima, Imepegozo, Uzo Wealth, Uzo Upliftment. Jesus is a pastor, ministerial breakthrough, a builder, ministerial breakthrough. Your mom is a career lady, excellence all round. I'm an eager tongue. I'm an eager woman. As the Lord has laid in the heart of your parents, as they will wish, so shall your siblings be. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we receive this baby into the fold and we declare he's blessed. She's protected. She's shielded. And she grow in favor with God and man. In the name of God the Father, and God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. You are marvelous. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you. You are marvelous. 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 I cannot forget by this time next year, some person singles will also bring their own children. Okay, if today is your first time, can I see your hand? Today is your first time. Please, God bless you, sir. If you wouldn't mind, first timers, please don't go. Don't go yet. We are almost done. Carry your bag. Come out here if today is your first time. And give me your one.